guys, I'm Brandy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Hey guys, look, we are almost to 100 subscribers. Please share these videos with your friends so I can make my first milestone in getting to 100 subscribers. Look, today's vlog is really simple today. I'm just chit-chatting with you guys. Let's talk about embroidery software. Let's jump right into it. Happy Wednesday, everybody. How's everybody doing? I hope all is well. So in today's vlog, we are really just chit-chatting, just a conversation, just talking about embroidery programs. So I am like 97% sold on Embrilliance. Um, I have downloaded the free uh, version of it, software version, you know what I'm trying to say. So I've downloaded the free um, part of Embrilliance and um, I was playing in it today. I've watched um, some videos on how to navigate through Embrilliance and let me know what, you, what programs you guys have for your embroidery software, for your one needles. Um, well, actually, it may not even matter, but I am really, really, I'm like two seconds, you guys, literally two seconds from purchasing, blah, 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 purchasing the Embrilliance Essentials. So I also watched some videos because I did hear, I actually heard good things about Embrilliance and I heard good things about So What Pro. So the only thing that I have been doing is watching YouTube videos, trying to get a feel of which one seems user friendly. Now for all you So What Pro um, folks out there, I am not doubting that program. But I'm really, really, really like attached to Embrilliance. So not only have I been navigating in the free um, part of the program and watching videos, I, I, I watched when I watched the, I haven't downloaded anything for So What Pro, but when I watched the videos today, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know. It just, it's so, it's really seems kind of different, but the, the, the thing is about So What Pro, it is so much cheaper than Embrilliance, right? But I don't want to buy a cheaper program wishing I had gotten, you know, the, 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 uh, what do you want to call it? The, the, the Mercedes of the programs, you know, when I, I, I downgrade it to a little Fiat, a Piat or whatever you want to call those. <laughs> those cars when I should have went ahead and jumped and got the Mercedes, you know, the Bentley of the programs. So I, I don't know. So when I was watching the videos, um, I kind of really was up in the air about getting them about, about, cause I think it was like $65 for one, um, program for so what pro. And then I think it was like $83 for like the upgrade version of it. So I don't know. I don't know. And then of course, you know, and brilliance is the $139 when I looked on it and I, well, actually what's today? Wednesday, today's the 15th. So actually I think the 139 expired yesterday when I looked on their website. So I don't know. Um, but I am really hooked on, I really am hooked on, um, the embrilliance program for my, my PE 800. Um, if any of you guys have any like pros and cons, cause I'm still going to do some more research this week. Um, I may purchase one of the two this week. Um, kind of like, and you know what, that's what I should do. I should look on YouTube for like pros and cons of Embrilliance and so what pro to see, you know, what, how much of a difference each program is. Um, and all that kind of stuff. I know Angela uses in brilliance and she loves it and all that kind of stuff. And I really do like, I really do like that you can navigate in there. It just seems so much user friendly opposed to when I was watching the videos, but still I'm, I'm not going to take so pro off the table. So what do you guys use for your embroidery, um, program? Share with me down in the comments below. Like, let me know why you like it. Which program was it very expensive? Um, 
let me know what you're thinking because I think that, let me see here. I think that, oh, and then the other thing, the additional programs. The only thing about Brilliance is adding those additional programs, which I have to really look and see what all they um, entail, but they are expensive. But a brilliant, and Brilliance do seem kind of good. They do seem kind of good. But um, it can get pricey to add those extra ones on. So I think I might just use it for what I'm using it for. And I think the essentials might be great. But I'm really on the fence um, with the programs. I'm not sure. So tell me what you guys think. Um, or what you guys use. Which easier? Because I really want to get into doing applique and stuff like that. And you know how when you overlap the embroidery programs. Um, on So What Pro. When I was watching the video today. She had like an eraser. That erases the overlap. Which seemed kind of weird to me. But when I watched. Um, an Embrilliant video. They have, I think it looked like a little pair of scissors or something at the top of the screen um, that lessens the thread count in that section where, let's say, the other part of the design or the other name are overlap. So, doesn't, you know, so I don't know. So, I just wanted to jump on here real quick to talk about the programs to see, to kind of get you guys' input to see, you know, um, what programs you use and just tell me why and all that kind of stuff just comment down below I would love to hear from you guys um, like I said this week is such a short week I have been so busy today and it's really like the end of the day before I go pick up my little mini me so I was like let me just jump on here real quick to kind of let you guys know like what I have been facing or thinking about this week also I have been practicing y'all I got my sewing machine threaded yesterday what yes i got it threaded and i did a little random stitch which i'm gonna share with you guys in my craft video um this weekend i did like a random stitch and um i just kind of like went around a, a sample stitch that i did the first one that i did was on my embroidery machine i went around the sides i kind of like folded it with my clips i was trying to get a feel of how the singer um, sewing machine, how the pedal felt and all that kind of stuff. I like loved it. I'm like a little kid in a candy store right now. I'm like, oh, like, woo. -hoo! And I hate it. What was it? Home economics. Home economics in, I think it was junior high school back then is when I took that, that sewing class. I don't remember anything. But I did a little round the stitch around the rim. I folded it and, and sewed it on. It's not perfect. So, don't don't you know don't jump on me it's not perfect it was just for me to kind of get a feel of the machine um and to pivot at the corners and turn the material and all that kind of stuff so i know i have a long ways to go before i even become a sewing pro but just to be on the machine and get the feel of how it um I should have put my phone on do not disturb I'm sorry <laughs> on how to um I get a feel of the machine on how it flows and all that kind of it was this awesome feeling yesterday so um I also did let's see there's another oh I found a video which um I'm gonna attempt to do my crafting video which will like you know help my practice on the sewing machine um it's an easy mask. It is so, so simple, guys. Like, so simple. I promise you it is. I cannot mess it up, but I already know I'm probably going to mess it up. <laughs> so I went and I and I got the material. Um, well, actually, I have the material, but I went and I bought the elastic from Michaels. And I am going to attempt to make, to sew this easy mask that I'm going to add in my crafting video. So stay tuned for this weekend. Um, to share with you guys. So that's pretty pretty much what I've been doing this week. Just a quick update on my vlog. You know, I have been watching a ton of videos um, on my software program that I'm trying to decide on which one to get for my PE800 embroidery machine. 
and then also just, you know, practicing on my sewing machine. You know, you can't beat it. So I hope you guys have an amazing week. Enjoy this Wednesday. Remember, start your day off with positive mindset and thoughts. Do not let anybody tear down your day with their negative Nancy's or negative Ned's or Neil's or whatever, you know, with their comments, you know, try to avoid people that are very unsupportive of you or, you know, try to bring you down or try to, you know, critique what you are doing or what you should be doing and how you should be doing it, you know, just, you know, try to avoid people like that. Kill them with kindness, pretty much, right? As my grandmother would say, be nice, nasty. <laughs> Love my grandmother. So I just want to jump in here with you guys and say, hey, I hope all is well. Take a break. You know, if you guys need it, stay positive. I will see you guys next time. And I appreciate you guys for rocking with me each and every single week. So until next time, take care, guys.